We got our hands on Ryobi's new one plus 18 volt HP brushless mud mixer. We're gonna walk you through this tool and see if it's got the guts to be able to handle concrete mixing. So first things first, this is a Ryobi one plus 18 volt product. So any of those 18 volt batteries are gonna work, but it's the high performance batteries that you wanna use because this is an HP brushless product. Let's go ahead and slap this in. Start showing you around the tool. So first of all, Notice we've got a traditional D-handle style going on right here. So we've seen some interesting iterations from other power tool companies of rotating handles and some other things. They work, but I prefer this D-handle. It's natural. It's very, very normal for me when I'm using this as compared to a corded model or something like that. Now, inside we've got the brushless motor and we have six different speeds to work with here. So the first ones are going to be right up here. So you got a little rocker switch. So speed one, speed two and speed three. Also got two different gears. So flip the tool around and those gears are gonna be right here. So just like a drill, speed two is gonna be high speed. Speed one is gonna be a lower speed and it's gonna be the higher torque that you want for when you're mixing those heavier materials. Now, as far as speed one and speed two go, speed one maxes out at 800 RPM, speed two, 530, simple enough. Just in case you need a little bit more finesse in there, this is also a variable speed trigger. So find the speed combination that you want, use the variable speed trigger if you need to make sure that you're not splashing, especially when you first start going into that mix. But then once you're going into it and you've got a good steady rhythm going, you've got a lock on switch right here on the inside right handle. So that's gonna be with your, with your trigger all the way down. So go ahead and bring it up to speed. Lock that button in and mix to your heart's content. Now we know that there's a brushless motor in here, but there's also more going on inside. Now, first of all, we've got this hardened steel keyed chuck. I'm gonna show you that in just a second. And inside there, we've got a die cast metal gear case. And the whole reason for using those kind of components is because Ryobi intended for this thing to be able to handle the tougher materials and to be able to stand up for years of use with it. All right, so now you know all the basics on this tool. Can it handle mixing cement? That's one of the tougher things that we work with. So I've pre-measured my water here. It's a 60 pound bag. We've got a gallon and a quarter of water. We'll add some more if we need to, if it's too thick or anything like that. But we really just want to see how does Ryobi handle that kind of mixing? Easy peasy. Now having that lock on switch was really nice because I had to mix a little bit longer because I had some chunks in there that I was trying to find and break up and get into the mix. The performance is definitely there and using the tool was not that difficult at all. Now the bare tool weighs 7.25 pounds on its own. With that four amp hour high performance battery, you're looking at 885. So by the time you add your paddle, your total working weight is about 10 pounds. As far as the price goes, bare tool is $199, but the kit is what you really wanna go after because it's gonna include a four amp hour high performance battery and a charger, and it's gonna be 249. So it's just 50 bucks for that nice battery and the charger to go with it. Go ahead and grab that, even if you've got some other Ryobi batteries. Now, do you have any questions or comments or feedback for us on this mixer? Go ahead and leave those in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching.